fun, action-packed evening of searching for the chess singularity. Tonight we're going to um, make sure that we have the chess singularity well in hand by crossing the threshold. We're going to cross a threshold from just having a pretty good chance of, of having the chess singularity to having a, a much better chance uh, of reaching the chess singularity, which we might have already reached, by the way. Um, it's not for sure that we're not there yet. We might be there. We're not, we're not entirely uh, sure either way. But... Um, Tonight we're going to do. Uh, we're going to test a hypothesis um, again using the brain waves. You see my brain waves right up here: um, beta, theta, gamma, all, all of them up there. You're actually looking inside my mind uh, as I as I play chess. Um, but language learning is so important. The more languages you know. When you study a foreign language, um, you're going to play chess that much better. Um, you can see my normal language, like I'm speaking right now, is English. And so that's why I got this. Um, we're going to, before we do the chess tonight, I'm going to activate a lot of the linguistic centers in my brain. Uh, and you'll see them there in the brain waves by studying a foreign language. And chess itself is a kind of a language. So after we go into this language, we're gonna go into the French language, activate our, our linguistic center. Once that's totally activated, we're gonna go over to the chess, we're gonna go to Lee Chess, and you will, you will see the correspondence between my gameplay, the the French study and the brain waves, which will be correlated with both things. Now, if you just pay attention to the, those brain waves, um, look at the correlations and you'll see uh, what I'm talking about. Now, this is a channel where chess, playing chess is hard work. Um, you really have to study a lot. You see how the brain waves went up there just talking about work. Um, it happens to all of us. It's, it's a lot of stress. It's very hard to do. Um, don't worry, leave it to, uh, professionals, leave it to me. Um, I play chess, so you don't have to, uh, you can learn chess, um, you know, by following along, um, by learning about how to play chess better, uh, by learning how to, um, learn a foreign language in this case. And tonight we're learning French. And you can learn, too. Um, that's what's so cool about this site, Duolingo. Um, you can actually just go ahead and sign up for free and start to learn for free. Now, when you're speaking a foreign, when you're learning how to play a foreign language, uh, play a foreign language, when you learn how to speak a foreign language, it's very, very important that you pronounce it. So... As I'm doing these exercises, you'll hear me pronounce the French. I'm not very good at French, I have to warn you. But in the end, I'm going to learn French and improve my chest. So let's take a look at this. Okay, look at these exercises. Which one of these is the woman? Okay, so I never saw this before, but I'm just going to guess. Um, this It looks like it's this one. Okay, so I'm going to say la femme. Okay, and la femme. La femme. Okay, I'm repeating what I hear. I got the. You can't hear that. Um, I can hear it. I don't know. I have to look here on the chess site if I can share. If I can share the sound. Well, you can just listen to me in any case. <laughs> I'll do that for the next. Um, I'll have to research that if you can. I uh, can get you guys to hear what they're saying. What you can you can hear the same thing that I'm saying as I'm doing here. Okay, but so that was that was good. We got a check. Okay, here we go. Continue. 
Uh, which one of these is the girl? Well, it's not la femme, and it's, that doesn't look like it, so <laughs> it must be this one. How do you pronounce that? Wow, I have no idea. I'm just going to guess. Uh, I'm not going to even try. I'm going to listen to how they say it, and then I'll, I'll repeat. La fille. La fille. La fille. Okay, so we got to remember, those L's are completely silent. La fille. La fille. So, la femme, la fille. All right. Uh, how do you say woman? Remember, femme. 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 The, he says it faster than I normally would. Femme. Femme, he said. Great. Okay. Une fille et un garçon. Wow. That was something. Okay, if I click here, I can hear that again. Une fille et un garçon. 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 garçon. It's really strange. This, this it looks like une. it has a ou, but it's not. It sounds like une fille. Une fille. Une fille. Une fille. Et une fille. Un a garçon. Look at that. Okay, so this is different. Un. A, une, ing. So, you know, the U-N-E is like ing, and this is un, un. with a little nasality. So, un, 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 fille, un gar, garçon. They don't say their R's exactly like an American. Garçon. Garçon, garçon. So, let me put this all together now. Et, une, et, fille, et, et un, a, Garçon. If he est a gar garçon. Okay, so I'm just practicing. I'm going to get better and better uh, as this goes on. So now we have to write this in English. So I click here. So uh, it's av obviously a girl. We already learned that. A girl and uh, I learned this. Garçon. I learned this um, in my last lesson. It was garçon. What garçon was a boy. So all right. Great job. And they tell us there that we're doing, we're doing wonderful so far. Oh, wow, you can see the brain waves there. Like every time I get, you can't hear it. I, I hear it here in the, um, <laughs> but every time I, they, they give me the, that tone, that wonderful sound that you hear in Duolingo when you get something correct, you'll, you'll see, you'll see, um, You'll see the response there. It, make, it makes me very happy um, when you look at those brain waves. You can follow along uh, just how happy I'm getting. So let's try the next one. This is good. This is great so far. Je suis Marie. Okay, let me listen again. Je suis Marie. Je suis Marie. Okay, so this person is introducing herself to us. And Je suis Marie. Je suis Marie. Je suis Marie. So that's what they're saying. Je suis Marie. Marie. I, I don't have that quite that French R kind of figured out. It's kind of like this little kind of a guttural thing. I don't know how exactly how they do it, but je suis Marie. Marie. Je suis Marie. Okay, so she's telling us I am um, Marie. Je suis Marie. All right, good job. Ha, ha, she looks very happy. Look at that. Okay, so high five. We got it. We are crushing it. As you see there, we're crushing this. Okay, so we can't play chess quite yet. We need to work on this a little bit more because we do want to make sure we're, we've crossed the singularity. If you watched my last broadcast, you know what a singular chess singularity is. It's when chess just starts making complete sense to you. You're looking at the board, you're playing chess, you're making the right moves, partly because you're calculating, but partly because you just see things clearly. It's all about perception, and that's called the chess singularity. That's what we're, we're striving for. Um, using the brain waves, using the foreign language, we're, in a, certain, in a sense, short-circuiting the procedure, the process by which People normally become grandmasters, which is years and years and years of study. We're going to do it in a few days, weeks, or months. Don't believe me? Okay, stay tuned because 
we are on our way. And the brain waves are going to register it completely. They're going to demonstrate it without any doubt exactly what happened, and it's going to be there for posterity to study. Okay, so how do you say girl? Fee. 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 Fee, fee, fee. Okay, je suis un. 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 Okay, I say in, but it's un. Je suis un. 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 Je. Je. Suis. Je. Suis. Suis. Je suis Je. un. I learned this before. It's a chat. Je suis un chat. Okay, je suis un chat. Okay, good. We got Je that. suis une femme. Je suis... Oh, let me see that. Une. Une. It's so weird. They put the E there and it's completely different than that other un uh thing. This is like a un uh thing. Une. Une. It's not a U sound. It's like a un. Un. Un and un. So, je suis une femme. Je suis une femme. Okay, so I am a woman. And it makes total sense with the picture, too. So, I am a woman. We got it. Okay, so we're headed toward the chest singularity. Je. One French word at a time. So, je. 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 Okay, that's it right Je. There. Je. Okay. Uh, Un garçon et une fille. Un. Un. Une. A une. A une. So, un garçon et une fille. Un garçon et une fille. Okay, we got that figured out. I mean, I'm getting more consistent with my pronunciation. So, that's a boy and a girl. I don't see the, I don't see the boy there, but uh, a boy and a girl. No, it's not a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. Fee. You got it right. We're crushing it. Look at that. Ten in a row. They're impressed. They're really impressed. Une. 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 Now, they're pronouncing it with an N at the end, but I think it's because before a vowel, you actually hear that consonant N, but before a consonant, you just hear like N. Une. 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 Okay, so Une is this one. Une. Une. Okay. Select the matching pair. So, man. Um. um. Um, uh, girl, fee. 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 Okay. I. Je. Je. Boy. Garçon. Garçon. Femme. Femme. Je Femme. suis Anna. Je suis. I have to listen to that again. Je suis Anna. Je suis. Je suis Anna. Ah, they're not. Okay, it's this one. Je suis. Je suis. Je suis Anna. Je suis Anna. Ah, so. Je suis Anna. Je suis Anna. Ah, je suis. Je Anna. suis Anna. Okay, it's this one. Anna. Anna. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't get it right. Je suis Anna. Oh, but I had to put the whole thing. <laughs> okay, I had it basically right, but I got to put je suis Anna. Okay, can I put that back? Can I start again? Okay, continue. I have to do that again later. Okay, so select the matching pairs. Woman is femme. 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 Uh, I is je. 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 Et. 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 Uh, no, uh, that, that's a. Uh. So a uh is. A. Un. A. Un. A uh, uh is a. Uh. Et. 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 Um. um, okay. Okay, so that's une fille et un chat. Let me see if I pronounce that right. So, une fille et un chat. Okay, so that's a uh, 
fee right there. Fee. I can't. I can't listen to that. I wish I could listen to that, but. Je suis Anna. Je suis Anna. Je suis Anna. Okay, now I hear that better. So. Je. Je. Suis. Suis. Anna. Je suis Anna. Je suis Anna. Je suis Anna. So, sui is similar to what we saw with the with the un, the, not the un, but the un thing. Um, the n kind of comes out before vowels, and this came out. This s came out between before Anna. So, je suis Anna. Je suis Anna. But when you just click sui, 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 they don't pronounce the s. It's, it's so interesting. So, je suis Anna. Je suis Anna. So the S, the final S kind of disappears or returns depending on if it's a consonant or a vowel. Okay, we got that one right. Okay, tap what I hear. Okay, well, we reached our daily goal. Let's try. Let's see now if we have reached the singularity. Um, I can do that by typing leeches. Uh, we're moving from one free internet program, which is Duolingo to another one which is also free it's called Lee Chess and okay we're gonna play a game here what do you say uh, let's just create a game this is if you want to play black this is if you want to play white and just check in every once in a while I think I'm broadcasting I'm not but it says end stream on my screen right now so obviously I can't end it unless I'm streaming right now. So I'm streaming. So let's go with this. Um, here we go. Click the big king in the middle, and it just randomizes and gives us whatever color. Okay, we're going to be playing black. Wow, look at that. He's doing something really weird over there, and we're playing a really fast game. We're playing a really fast game. We need to protect that pawn, and I didn't want to protect it with my night because that pawn would come up and attack him away i'm going to be able to castle here right away um don't like that i'm going to have to protect that pawn he thinks he's getting a lot of um advantages with us here because he's moving very fast um i'm going to already get my rook in the center um okay i'm going to Open it up things, open up things here in the center and see what happens. If he's playing really, really fast, I could actually win the game here. No, but he's not that dumb. Um, okay, that's protected. Uh, so he's very well protected that night. Um, I don't want to move him over there yet. I could bring this bishop over here, though, and kind of like force his, not his rook out of there. He didn't move his rook. Let me just go ahead and take him. Je suis Anna. Je suis Anna. That was a pretty cool phrase. Okay, so let's just try to do something really smart here now. This knight, I don't see how he can advance. I don't know. I'll just kind of break up his pawns over there. I mean, I've got a pretty good position. Um, That's interesting. Okay, we got to do something really smart now. Got to protect that pawn over there because he was going to take it with his bishop. Je suis Anna. Je suis Anna. I would like to put this knight up, but I just lose a pawn if I do that. I'm really down on time. The f foreign language maybe helped, but... Okay, now I can move up this way at least. If he wants to take that, I mean, I'll probably lose that pawn, but hopefully I'll get something else going here in the meantime, and it'll be all right. I can't really protect that pawn. But like I say, I could get something in the meantime.
Jesuisana. I'm getting material here like crazy. I mean, I just got another. I got basically two rooks for the price of one. I mean, for the price of two pieces. If this was to go into an end game and I have time, I would win this, obviously, but it's a little bit tricky. I'm going to have to get my rooks. Um, connected and I can't connect them behind that pawn I'm going to have to get them over here this is getting close to a checkmate right now looks like you'll be kind of, be kind of safe right there oh I just opened myself up to a horrible situation there crap Really, really screwed up there. Hmm. Forty three seconds. I mean, we're still ahead of material. I just got to play this smart. I would love to get his knight out of there. Oh, yeah, and he did move his knight out of there. He's in trouble now. Would love to checkmate this guy. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? I'm going to move this pawn up to here. I got 27 seconds left. Uh, I think I lost this game. I don't have enough time. I just lost the game completely. It was that. It's because it's not that I don't have the chess ching singularity going for me. Uh, you see the brainwaves there when the game ended, they really went like way up, way, way, way up. It's basically because I didn't have the right time frame. I never played three minute games. I um, made that mistake and then I just continued playing instead of aborting. But I'm terrible at three minute chess. I play five minute chess normally. I'm going to create another game. This time I got this here. I'm going to click five per five minutes, and we'll see if we're at the chess singularity. If we're not, we'll head back to and do some more French. But that was a horrible game. I really blundered badly, badly, badly. It's because a lot of it has to do with being in control. I felt like out of control because of the time situation. And chess is all about control. I feel like I'm in control now. If I lose this, it's because I'm not in the singularity. We'll see. We'll see if I can do this. Um, before I... I'm just going to go with a slow development this time. I very often go with a very fast development. Okay, when he moved that pawn back there, it allowed us ample, much easier situation here to advance that pawn up there because that knight was attacking this pawn before. Made it a little bit more difficult. Um, okay, I'm going to develop the queen. Give me a little bit more time. Uh, what else can I do here? I'm going to have to move my bishop out of there, but where? I think the best place will be way back here because I want to bring a rook over to this file against his queen. Now, this diagonal 
Uh, my queen is apt to a check there. Uh, you don't really check a queen, but you know what I mean. Uh, okay, I'm going to first connect my rooks. And then I, I said I wanted to bring a rook. Don't want to bring a rook over quite that fast, though. Once again, you know, I don't want to double get those pawns doubled up here. Okay, I got to bring that back. But this is a, this bishop is actually going to be better over here anyway. This is not bad at all. The bishop in this position is going to bear down very strong on his king. Uh, now he's going after that knight again. Now the bishop can come back here. Uh, I had to do that because I wanted to protect this knight again with my queen. I, I'm just going to force his knight out of there. I'm not going to do... I want to really get the knight out of there. Hopefully he'll bring the knight back. And I will bring the... Now I have his queen and his king lined up there in a pretty good way. Um, I have to block that bishop out. He's giving This bishop is giving me a lot of problems. And now, okay, that's all right. He's going to probably sacrifice this knight. That wouldn't be a bad move if he does that. He's got a lot of pieces coming over there. And he is, he comes up here with the queen. He didn't do it. That's so interesting. Okay, so. This will give by me a little bit of time. Because it protects that pawn. He retakes there. I'm threatening his queen. Okay. And I still cannot take that pawn over there. Got to do something really smart right now. Well, let me move that. I can see. Is this going to work? I got to take him. He's going to lose that on the exchange unless I do that. Okay, now I'm threatening to take his knight unless he moves his knight out of there. Then I can develop this other rook. Didn't get any of that action like I thought, but let's look at that defensive position. He's I got that closed out. Um, because that's closed out, probably will be safest over here. And then I'm going to have to protect this pawn with this rook. He would like to check me right here, but if he does, I'm going to come here. And if he trades, I still got this queen. Everything is centered. On, I got three pieces centered on this square. And I got to make sure this knight doesn't fit. This pawn doesn't fail. I got to move. Well, that was tough. There's got to be something here. I got to play something smart. He attacks me. Got to come over here and put him in check. Okay, and now.
Yeah, brought one more person into play. Okay, now I can come here. I got to block that. Or should I block here? I think it's better to block in an aggressive way. One minute against two thousand uh, two hundred two minutes and three seconds. What is that? Um, what should I do now? Bring my king up into play. Got all my pieces protecting that knight now, including my king. Okay. Oh, crap. I wasn't thinking about that. I can't take with the queen. Oh, yeah, I can now, but then he takes me. No, that's all right. I can do this. We're just down a couple of pawns. And down a lot of time. It's a time factor. That's one. Of, well, the pawns are a losing situation. Well, if he just blunders, I don't think, I don't see how he could possibly blunder, but. I almost took his rook, but that would be like a losing game, I think. Oh. oh, wow. You can see, look at, look at, every time I lose a game, the, the, the brainwaves really go up. They just go up like crazy, and I know why they do that, because I, I love, I love when they're over, <laughs> when I get into a really bad situation like that. That was a horrible, horrible situation uh, I can't I don't have any explanation explanation for that except that it doesn't look like we reached singularity tonight well we got low ended I went uh, on an upbeat and think that okay we didn't do it tonight but we'll do it we'll do it tomorrow night um, if you can't do it today you do it tomorrow right so uh, we'll see you tomorrow uh, we'll do some more um, uh, foreign language learning and hopefully we'll have much better games because we'll be in the singularity tomorrow night. And so we'll see you and goodbye, good night, good luck, and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.